All right, today we are using Jasper Johns as our inspiration for our alphabet art. These lines, these colored lines, are what we're going to be working on today, and then we're going to be working on just writing in our alphabet and preparing it for next week. To make your colorful lines, you get to use colored Sharpies today. When you use colored Sharpies, whenever you take the lid off, when you're done, please make sure the lid goes right back on it and snaps. So when you have it apart, it should snap back into place. That way they don't dry out and we can use them another day. What I would do is I would choose one color you want to start with first, and I would go across my paper and like I have green right now, I would do a couple of lines in green before I close the lid and get a new color out. So I'm going to go through and just pick some random places to put some nice green lines and go slowly and try to trace them on the line. Notice how I'm kind of spreading them out. I don't want all green in one area. When I'm done, I put the lid back on, it snaps, and I choose a new color. I go back through, and oh, this color is not working. Let me try a new pink. I go back through, and I add some pink lines in random places. Again, I'm spreading them out. I don't really want my pinks to touch. I just want them all over the place. Even that crooked line down there in that corner, that's where Y and Z is going to go, just so we can get them to fit on the paper. So I'm going through, choosing different colors, and still going through and picking out lines to use with those colors. When I'm done with that color, I put the lid back on, I get a new color, and I continue to create. I'm gonna keep going until every single line has a color on it. So I got some brown here, and I think that will be my last one. So then I'm gonna go back and make sure I got all my Sharpies lids on and put them in the, the basket. And I'm gonna make sure I have all my lines traced in color. If I forgot one, I want to go back in and I want to make sure I get that traced. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a pencil and I have provided you with the alphabet and where they go. So all you have to do is copy it into your squares and I would make them big, big letters to fill up your squares. And next week we are going to color these um, letters, but this week we're just writing them in pencil. So I'm going to use my guide and my little paper over there with the alphabet on it, and I'm going to go through and write all of my alphabet letters really big with pencil. Do not color them. Do not use colored Sharpie. Please use pencil because we're going to use some oil pastel, kind of like paint crayons next week to fill them in. So let me finish my alphabet here. And like I said, at the bottom where it has that line in the middle, you're going to put a Y and then a Z. They're going to share a square together. <clears throat> Once you're done, go ahead and turn it in. And we will finish it next week. It'll look something like that.